Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Jason's General. Today we're doing a best of one, a premier draft of Bloomboro. It's our fifth draft of the format. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Big change from uh, Modern Horizons 3. Uh, this card's cool. It's kind of like Crater Hoof or something. Or like Nissa. I know green is uh, considered a pretty powerful color in this format. Splash Lasher seems pretty decent too, but I know that Splash Lasher, or sorry, blue is one of the less powerful. This would be cool. Curious Forager with the season would be pretty awesome. Anyway, Hunter's Talent. Very nice. One of the best uh, cards in the, in the format, surprisingly. That may or may not be surprising to you, but that is the case. All right, so let's grab that. Return up to two target creature cards with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If a gift was promised, instead return up to three target creatures with mana value two or less. And this becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time. Tap target a creature opponent controls. Um, both these seem interesting. Um. Hmm. I might go for. Yeah, we could go try to go low to the ground. Maybe maybe we're just supposed to take the mouse trapper, but this seems like a decent card. <laughs> mice and mice and mice and rabbits. It's probably more of like a mice tribe. Uh, typo deck, but or uh, not deck card, but that's okay. So I guess just try to go low to the ground. I think getting like low, <sighs> like one drops and two drops, seems a little bit difficult in this format, but we'll see. That's how it's been feeling so far. Centers raccoons you control. What are raccoons? Still learning all the colors. Gruel. Oh, Gruel's cool. I guess we could potentially be Gruel. When this becomes the target of a spell at ability, gets plus one plus O. Oh. So yeah, it seems like it seems like um the mice deck is based on like pump effects. I think I'm gonna go for this. Oops. Maybe we, maybe maybe we end up in raccoons. Maybe it's a little bit early to take that. I don't know. Trample. Power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. That's pretty exciting. I like that. Carrot cake would be my next pick, I think, because it goes pretty well with Season of Gathering. But overall, so far, I like where we're at. I know cash grab is another really good common. But this uncommon seems pretty decent. Uh, squirrels. Squirrels is, is Golgari, that's right. All right. Creatures of control get plus two, plus one until the end of turn. If you control, grab it, scry two. Very nice. Raccoons. Whenever you expend four, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains trample. Hmm. Can't block by creatures with power two or later, and attacks. Something becomes a 2-2. Two -two. Loses its abilities until your next turn. Seems okay. Um, 
I'm going to... Oh, crap. All right, we took the raccoon warrior card. That's fine. That's fine. <sighs> I'm, I'm... Hmm. Maybe this uh, dew drop center is not as good as I thought it was. I'll take carrot cake now. I I, I regret not taking the, um, the the mass pump effect, but that's all right. Another raccoon warrior. This card's pretty good. And this enters create a food token. This is a squirrel. Squirrels go Gary. This mouse card doesn't seem too bad. I think I'm just gonna go for the raccoon warrior though. I feel like this card's pretty good, especially because a lot of the creatures are lower power level. This frog druid actually like greatly impressed me when I was in the frog deck. The frog deck is green blue. Um, I think I'll just take. I think I'll just take the sentinel. Polywap. Oh, rabbit response. Would like it, but I'm gonna go for polywap. I don't know if we're in white or if we're in red. Might of the Meek. Target creature gains Trample. It gets plus one if you control a mouse. Sure. thought we had another red card for some reason, but... Take the two one. Look how hard... It's so hard to get two drops in this format, I swear. This enters reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a land card. Put the card into the battlefield tapped and the rest of the bottom of your... Library in any order. Seems okay. It's definitely not a raccoon. But I'm interested in the boar. I think I'm just going to go for another carrot cake, though, honestly. Overprotect also seems really good. Maybe I just go for that. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, because we could see a carrot cake. We could, we could see another carrot cake. I'm just going to take the carrot cake. Care gate, <laughs> caretaker's talent. Whenever one or more tokens you control enter, draw a card. When it becomes level two, create a token. It's the copy of target token you control. Creature tokens get plus two, plus two. I think we're definitely in a creature token deck. When this or another creature control leaves the battlefield without dying... One, one counter. So this is good for like the bounce decks. I guess we still have the option of being Golgari, huh? Or even three color. Um. Hmm. Take the talent, I, I suppose. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1-1 counter target creature control. Permanent control with 1-1 counters. Have ward 1. Hmm. I really liked this Gale Moose when I played it, so I think I'm just going to go for that. But I know this Innkeeper is quite good, too. I'm going to go with the innkeeper. Whenever another raw, uh, frog, rabbit, raccoon, or squirrel you control, enters, put a moment counter on this. This is a phenomenal one drop. Definitely taking this. Got a long stock brawler, which we wouldn't mind. Uh, Wix Patrol is a very good black card. Um, yeah. Gift of food. Target creature control gets plus two, plus two. If a gift was given, it gains indestructible. That seems good for the rabbits, uh, or the mice deck. Uh, you may reveal, uh, if you sacrifice this, look top six cards your library, reveal a bat, mouse, f uh, bird, or rabbit from the top. Funny enough, we don't have a ton of those, but I think we still go for this card. Not a lot else in this deck. Could just take like a... Happy Harvester, whatever that card's called, but 
Ooh, I like this. When this enters, you may forage. When you do return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. That's XL3, right? So if we forage, we could bring back... Um, the Season of the Gathering. Season of Gathering. Maybe that's a little bit greedy. We don't have a lot of two drops yet. I guess we do have these. Um... I'm going to take the... I think the Forager makes sense. Oh, you could, like, keep bouncing it and, like, repeating the effect of the Season of the Gathering, for example, if you wanted to. If a creature an opponent controls would dial exile it, at the beginning of the end step, create X11 black rat tokens. Gets X for... This creature gets plus one for each rat you control. This seems like a fun card. Um, Let's go with the this guy. The froggy. Got a fair amount of frogs. Patchwork automation. Forager. I'll take the patch. Doesn't seem like there's a ton of, like... There's actually, there's some pretty good enchantments in this format, isn't there? Yeah. This is definitely a main deckable card. And Mentor would be great, but... Or would have been great, but... I do think that there's a lot of value to this Forager. Overprotect on the wheel. That's surprising. Um, Thistledown player is probably a really good card as well. I think we're a little bit... Ooh. We're actually lighter on creatures than I would have thought, but... I'm going to take this for sure. I think this card seems pretty good. Uh, when this or another creature you control leaves the battlefield without dying. I mean, I guess we have a fair amount of, like, sentinels. Turn up to one target permanent you control to its owner's hand. Put a one-one on each frog, rabbit, or counter that enter the battlefield. Um, I think I just like... Hmm. No, we'll take we'll take the we'll take the the oak hollow. Rabbit response is probably playable, and let's just get uh, some more creatures. Target creature gets plus two plus two on the turn. Up to one target creature gets plus one plus one. Players can't gain life. This is a spun sun spine lynx. When this enters, it deals damage to each player equal to the number of non basic lands that player controls. Sure. Um, I think I like this Trampler. Lookout looks seems okay. I also don't mind the Tree Guard. Um, I think I'm down for like a big beater for now. Jacksaw Savior. When this or another creature control with flying dies, return another target creature with lesser amount of value from the graveyard to the battlefield. I don't have... A lot of flying creatures. I assume cash grab must be pretty good. Just overall. I kind of like just taking this sure, sure Shrek Force as well. Um, I'll probably play this crash gra cash grab. What did I take? Oh, I took the Strike Force, and we're going to play the other Cash Grab. Uh, Longstock Brawl is good. What does this do? At the beginning of the end step, if you gain our lost life, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card with mana value three or less. It's a good bat card for Orzov. Savior is a great black card um, for just black decks in general, whether Golgari or Orzov. I think those are two of the better archetypes. Essentially. Again, still learning this format, but from my understanding so far. When this enters, you may forge if you do draw a card. Uh, I kind of like taking a hidden grotto for the surveil. I like I don't mind having like a little bit of surveil every once in a while. Where I, it doesn't feel like we're light on creatures, but we are. Um, so that's awkward. Whatever. I'm going to take the Hidden Grotto. Ooh, Galewind Moose now. We didn't get the first one, right? What did we take? I forget. I completely forget. 
Oh, we took the uh, the innkeeper's talent. That's right. Once it enters, create a food token. Whenever you expend, it gets plus one, plus one. Sure. Doesn't feel like we're going super, super wide. Return target permanent you card from your graveyard to your hand. If the gift is promised, instead return two target permanents from your graveyard to your hand. Another raccoon warrior. A polywap. Uh, probably what? More of a frog card, I guess. Hmm. Do we want to take one homestead heath? I kind of do. But we could just take a long brawl as well. Uh, no, let's take the heath. I see some value there. Cash grab. I feel like our curve is a little bit high. Cash grab, cash grab, cash grab. Anyway, I'm going for the go wide, sort of go wide beat down strategy. Let's make some cuts. I don't know how many frogs we have. We have five. We actually have five frogs for the polywap. That's not bad. And then. I'm just going to put all of our um, fight spells, tricks over on the right here. We don't have tons of tokens, so I'm not 100% about this caretaker's giver. True dr dewdrop cure, not completely convinced about. Yeah, I think it's just okay. We don't have that many two drops, do we? So let's cut one of those. Cliff top, cliff top. Pretty good. I mean, it does ramp you out, right? For th or not ramp you out, but uh, creep. It gets it gets you more lands. <laughs> Raccoons. We have. Some raccoons. I might just cut this guy. He's still a 3 4 for 4. I guess it gives the raccoons vigilance, so it would give these vigilance. That's not too bad. Oh, this is also a raccoon. So a lot of our beat, or beat down cards are raccoons, which isn't bad. Um. I still think I like. Uh, one cash grab just to be able to get lands. So what are we cutting? I don't know what to cut here. Polywap, polywap. It's probably caretaker since we only have two carrot cakes and then the homestead. We have six, nine. Uh... 14, 15, 6, is that 16 lands? 17 lands. Not doing math. 10, 15, 16, 17, yeah, okay. Um,
Hmm. Our curve is 3.0. I really don't know what to cut here. Homestead just seems very good. Head of the homestead here. Turn one target permanent. <sighs> Maybe, hmm. All right, let's just cut cash, I guess. I feel like it's cash or forager. I think I like forager better because it works well with our sentinels. We can bounce the for or the uh, lookout, and then like be able to get more lands, as well as like we could bounce the carrot cakes and whatnot with the sentinels as well. And then the, well, the uh, cash grab is just like a one-time use. I don't know. Could see an argument for both. What other playables do we have? We had the talent. We had the rabid response. Rabbit response. But the season of gathering kind of does a similar thing. All right, let's just run it. Okay, this looks like a great opening hand here. This rare seems phenomenal. I guess let's just get this going. In for two. This is when this attacks where you control a token, it gets plus two plus oh. Swing for three again. Uh, we're off to a pretty good start. Swing both. Just gonna take the damage. Hmm. I guess we'll just level up. Now they have ward.
Okay, did pay the offspring cost, that's fine. But I really think they're in trouble here. Ideally we draw um yes, a forest. That's what that's what I was gonna say. Fight these. And then we'll put another counter. Get him for seven. And this card is just uh this innkeeper's talents is just pretty busted, isn't it? <laughs> I think we're just we're just there. Ward 1, Trample, Hexproof, Indestructible, Reach. Yeah, that'll get you there. That will definitely get you somewhere. Alright, game number 2 here. Of our green white deck pretty good hand and let's go two mean cards here they're just gonna get bigger and bigger And for six now. I think we just go carrot cake, right? Look how it's not bad. Maybe a land is preferred, I don't know. Oop, that was a weird choice. We get another 1-1. One, one. This just doesn't die. <clears throat> Man, this is like a... This, this deck just feels like on another level. Two and one, let's go. Alright, um, yeah, hand is fine. X 
exile a card. Sure. Did they get to see what I exiled? Yeah. This is whenever this or another creature control leaves a battlefield without dying, put a one counter on target creature you control. Don't really need the sentinel, I don't think, but I will take the lands. Oh, why didn't I swing? Oh, that sucks. I should have. Alright. Ooh, okay. Hit the land. Let's go. Uh, don't know. Don't think we want that. Oh, maybe. I guess we could have taken it, but that's okay. Alright, let's just kill this. Since I want to be rude. And we'll play our carrot cake. Polywap. Uh, yeah, seems fine. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, did they just, did they just take our card? How did, they, what did they even just do to us? Oh, they made us exile another card? Sure. All right. We have that card. Let's get a little scry action going. Uh, yeah, we can keep that, I guess. All right, let's kill this uh, warlock again. We just keep getting them on their combat tricks. Pretty funny. <laughs> mm -mm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. Okay. Well, these clerics can't block, so that's all right. Hopefully we hit a land, and hopefully they don't make us discard more cards or whatever, exile. We're really giving them the beat down here. The beats. We're giving them the beats. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Rude. Block one thing. Take six. Take seven. Hmm. Make them take six, they go to seven. I like it. They're gonna block out one one. Oof. Risky. Now I really feel like we got them. Uh, 
La 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 Three, six, nine. We got a one, right? Damn. Didn't matter how we blocked there, they had the game. All right, all right. We took a little, we took a little snooze there. Took a little snooze after that defeat. Oh, now my dad's calling. Look at that. All right, back in. We're back. I think we need to turn the brightness up on this and the color. No, oh yeah, yeah, color. We like that warm glow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um Yeah. Yeah, this is Oh, yeah, this is great. This is great. This is great. This really is a great hand. Oh yeah, I'll take the planes for sure. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna hold up over protect. Let's give this level two. And then it will get war. Oh, it's already got ward. I'm confused. Oh no, maybe it has ward now. I don't know. I'm confused. But we're we're in. We're in. We'll hold up over over for te to see. I guess to use defensively. I don't know. Maybe that's weird. Maybe that's weird. Hey, buddy. Not cool. Make this a four four. Make it a five five. Um, I th think we just play this out. Get a counter. Get a counter. Swing for five. Whenever this becomes a target of a spell, creature control each turn, put a counter on it. Alright, I'm not really too worried about that. I think we're just going to smash them next turn as long as they don't kill either of our creatures la 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 Let's go, my boy. Let's go. Put a counter here. Uh, yeah. And that's it. That's going to do it. I mean, I don't think we quite, I don't think we exactly won, but pretty much. Good games. Three and one. Okay.
Okay, love to see it. Not bad. Not the ideal card, but easy money. Um, Alright, goodbye, Stoat. Destroy target creature with flying. That will be pretty handy. Uh, maybe we just do that for now. No, I guess we can do this. And we could level up. Sure. Let's just do that. Three trample. Alright, let's bring back... Let's just destroy... I think there, a lot of their creatures are going to have flying. So let's just destroy this. And then we'll just bring back our other spell. The, uh... <gasps> oh, permanent. Oh, well, whatever. I thought this was... Bring back um, instant or sorcery for some reason. That's a mistake. Our untapped isn't working yet again. So annoying. Alright, let's just swing. I mean, I'm pretty much just happy to block with whatever. I feel like they have a spell. Oh. We're gonna hit that. Sure. That's fine. Bam. Um, and then we'll do this. And we can put a cat we can put a counter on it. And I feel like we're in a pretty good position from that point. Yep, 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 yep. Let's just go all in. Yeah! Alright, cool. Four and one. Next game. Alright. Um, what is this? Game number six? A little bit of an awkward hand, huh? Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about our untapped. I keep playing without using it. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's awkward though. Opponent melts the six, so that's good. At least we're going seven versus six cards. Oh, they mauled the five, even better. Pew! Nice, okay, cool. Veterans looking nice. Veterans looking really nice. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. I 
A wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Ooh, we missed their drop. That's good. Missed their drop. Let's play our 4 4. Get the vigilance. Just a solid card, right? If they decide to block, um, they didn't. Very nice. All right. Play this then. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it's just expend like four. I thought it was whenever you play a raccoon. That was silly. Hey, man. Come on. Come on now. Polybop, polybop. All right, let's go uh, kill the first striker. And then just go all in here. I think we just got the game. Four, five. Is this game? I don't, I don't know if this is game, but it's pretty close. All right, yeah. I guess we could have we could have done the combat math, but it felt like we were just eons ahead of the in the game anyway. This deck is just bam, 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 just smashing. <laughs> oh, five and one. Let's do it. Alright, this looks pretty solid. Wouldn't mind uh, drawing a forest, but we got our good one drop here. Hmm. Guess we just do this. Say go. Don't do it. You leave my little guy alone. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think we'll just start loading up some counters here. Let them uh, take some damage. We're just going to smash them. We'll just smash them. Yep. Take two. Okay. They're just going to send it back. That's cool. That is totally cool with me. Hmm. Guess they have nothing. Huh. All right. Cool. Let them do it again. I could obviously Hunter's Talent, but I just don't see the need. Okay. They just, so they just don't have their land drop, so that's good. All right, I'm just gonna hit their hit their guy, and then we just, just hold up. I think we just hold up over protect. Just keep smashing in. Right now we're just coasting. Whenever this or another rat you control enters, create a one-one black snail token. If you don't create a snail, put a woman counter on each or on a snail you control. Sacrifice a snail. This deals damage equal to. I don't think that this card is just irrelevant. They don't have the Grix colors. Whenever a wick or another rat you control, create a 1 1 snail token if you don't control a snail. Otherwise, put a counter on a snail. Good card, but I don't know if this is 
necessarily the deck for it. Alright, we're gaining Trample. Oh man, I'm so glad I took this overprotect. This card is just kicking kicking butts. <laughs> Let's go. Platinum tier 3. Six and one. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Awkward hand. Awkward hand. Awkward hand. <sighs> I'm just gonna go for it. Hopefully, we draw the planes. We have some green cards we could draw too. All right. No planes yet, but at least we got this. All right, give me something nice. Uh, I feel like they have a counter. Whatever, let's just see. I'm okay. Cool, 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 cool. Moved combat. Are they gonna kill our Boro mentor? Probably. Sorry, having a double striker that's gonna get. That's not too bad. Hmm. Um. All right, I think we just play this again. I feel like they have a counter or something. Cool. All right, ward. All right. All right, it gets hexproof. Sure. Expend four. Okay. Let's do this. Then let's do this. Then let's do this. Then let's definitely keep that. And then let's put a counter here. And let's swing with this. <laughs> yeah! We could... Let's do the math. Oh. I feel like we could just... Win? This gives trample? This has... Haste? This has Vigilance. So if we give it plus three, yeah, I think we could, I feel like we could win. If we go boom, that also has trample. So we'll put two counters here. Swing all. Not right now, it's dealing eight, it's going to deal fourteen. We just hold back and we can block the five five and then use overprotect if we need to 
Does this give hexproof? It does. Okay. And we got ward. Pay the one. Let's do that. Over protect. And so then, yeah, I think we just... We don't win, but... It's pretty close. Uh... Yeah. Then we play this. This gets plus one, plus one in Vigilance. Could bounce this. I guess making this a 6-6 six, six is fine. Get him for an extra one. Doesn't have Trample right now, but we're way, way ahead. How's this looking? Oh yeah. <clears throat> hey, you leave my guy alone. Nice. All right. Very nice, very nice. Got the trophy. Felt pretty smooth, pretty easy going. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Didn't even cast Season of the Gathering, now that I think about it, not even once. So that's cool. Take a little picturino. And uh, yeah, deck was good. Deck was really good. Uh, green, white. What do you even call this? This is like, I don't know. Green, white, good stuff. Green, white, aggro. <laughs> it was like a pseudo raccoon deck. Go wide. I guess I just had like, the innkeeper's talent won us so many games. So it was like kind of a counter deck, but. Just like good stuff deck, lots of uncommons, rares. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really think you could call this an archetype. I guess you would call it counters, but it doesn't really doesn't feel like a counter deck. It's just kind of a mat a mismatch of good stuff, good cards, and I think I feel like that's the way this format's ultimately gonna go. You're not gonna get that much tribal action going. But that's just sort of the the way limited goes a lot of the times. Anyway, archetypes are always kind of muddy. The waters are kind of muddied. Yeah, didn't didn't cast our season and honestly, uh, MVP. Lookout was very good, but MVP was definitely Innkeeper's Talent. It really just carried a lot of the games. Uh, patch, Paw Patch Formation, definitely main deckable. Oh, and Might call it, Caller. This card was also phenomenal. Yeah, if you liked to watch, please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Cheers.